Hi, welcome to a Rock OBS tutorial. What I try to do in these tutorials is give you some ideas beyond the basics, if you like, sort of a semi-pro in the middle kind of thing. Today's is going to be about the countdown script that comes part of OBS for everybody, OBS Studio. Uh, and the problem is that when you run it, you have hours, minutes, and seconds. Most people want a countdown to last for maybe one or two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes at the very most. So I'm going to show you how you can edit the script so that you only see minutes and seconds. Okay, so let's now start. We have OBS here open, ready to go. First thing you're going to need to do for always for the countdown is to uh, create some text that will be where the digits go. So we're just going to call this countdown, call it what you want. It's irrelevant. And similarly, whatever text you put in here is also irrelevant because it gets completely replaced. Play around with it to taste, fonts, positioning, the rest of it. It's all down to you, personal taste, like so. Then we're going to go to tools up in the top menu bar and we're going to choose scripts. Now we're going to need to add a script and when we hit the plus symbol, it's going to fire up where all the scripts live. You can add more scripts, you can write your own scripts. They're Lua, which is a kind of web-based language, a bit like JavaScript. And we can see here is Countdown Lua. Now what we don't want to do is edit the original script, the, the master script, if you like. So let's copy that and let's paste it and create a copy for ourselves. We're gonna rename it, because who wants to call it copy? And we'll call it uh, small. There you go, whoops, schmoo. Okay, uh, and now we're going to edit it. So before we do anything further, this is the line that we want to edit, but we don't want to, again, copy that. We want to copy it, we don't want to edit it. We want to copy it and we want to paste it down. And we're going to comment out the line with a couple of hyphens. So we've always got the original. That's never going to go anywhere. We can always go back and refer to it or replace it if we want to. Now, hours, minutes, and seconds. It's all very obvious. And literally all we're going to do is delete that and delete that. So let's save that down. So you can see we've taken hours away in both the value there and the value there. Let's save that down and close it. And we're going to open with my dodgy mouse, small. There we go. So we brought that script in and let's just give it two minutes. Remember to choose your text source. So we're going to choose countdown and change this to whatever you want. Rock on with two ends, uh, even 1K. There we go. And there you can see straight away we have the text that we want. A couple of things to bear in mind. One is that the end text that you see is going to be constrained by the width of the text box. There's not a lot we can do about that. We had the same issue when we had minutes and hours and seconds. Um, if anything too long would get chopped off. Anything too short would look a bit odd. So maybe just change it to go or a couple of dots or something like that. Now, what if you don't like that zero? So we don't. We just want one minute and 20 or uh, two minutes without the zero. Well, let's go back into our script again. No bother. And we'll get rid of it. And we'll add and go back into here. And we're going to edit the same script. What we need to do now is get rid of that zero. There we go. And save that down. Open it up, count down two minutes, choose the text. Let's put go because it's going to get even smaller and close that down. And there we have it, one minute, 56 seconds and counting. Hope you've enjoyed that simple script editing. That will work every time. And of course you can go on and change the way it looks and so on and so forth. Uh, come back again later, see some more of the rock OBS tutorials rock out.